Hi guys, today I want to make a video and show you how to test the network cable um, to make sure your pairs are correct. Um, we are using a Fluke net network tester. Um, so, first thing you do, you connect your network cable. This is if you want to test a fly lead. You can connect your network cable to your Fluke device. It will show you the pairs um, and it will show you that the other end is open as well. Then on the other side you connect the other part of your fluke which you get with the device. And there you can see that the cable is 2.6 meter long. All your pairs is in the right order, nothing is broken, pair 1 and 2, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, 7 and 8 and it will show you at the other end that you have the, the, the end device on the cable. If I unplug it, this is what will happen, it will show that the network cable is open at the end, other end. You can also connect it to your switch or to your computer. This small little switch icon there show you that it is connected to either a switch or a computer or any other device. This um, 10 and 100 flashing there is showing the speed capability of the cable. And this is how you test a network cable that is basically wired correctly. So now I want to show you guys how it will show you if the wires are not crimped correctly or if there's another cable fault on the cable. So I'm also going to show you guys how to um, crimp a RJ45 on a network cable. Just remember that this wiring will be incorrect just to show you how the tester um, show you that the pairs are twisted around or something like that. Okay, let's do the first pair. I'm gonna, it should be orange, white, orange. So I'm gonna make it orange and then orange, white. And then I will put the rest of the wires normal. Okay, so you make sure that all the wires is pushed nicely back to the end here. At the front here, you have to look here at the front, otherwise 
your network cable. The RJ45 won't crimp properly. It won't reach the actual wires. Okay, and then you crimp it with your crimping tool. Now we can test this incorrectly crimped cable. And here you can see immediately which two pairs are flashing there, which is twisted around, and this cable won't work. I also want to show you guys um, how the fluke tester will behave if there's a short on some of the pairs. The moment it will show that the other end is open as soon as you join this piece together we'll show you that the cable is broken and we'll exactly show you which pairs the issue is on and we'll also have a triangle meaning that the cable is faulty so this will happen if you go all around and you join cables together and show you that more cables is broken inside so this is just to show you how a fluke network tester work um, this specific tester can also be used um, with a toner it does generate a tone if you are looking for some cables um, it works with different types of um, probes and um, I'm very sure that it will work best with a uh, fluke probe as well. So yeah, this is just to show you how this fluke network tester works and how to test a network cable. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, I just wanted to show you how to use a fluke network tester. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know if there's anything I can help you guys with. Thank you for watching. Bye.